read another story today, and this is called The Dot by Peter Reynolds. All right, so let's sit back and, re and relax, and let's enjoy this story, and then I'll tell you what your project's going to be, okay? Here we go. Our class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed the marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There! The teacher picked up the paper and steadied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into the art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in a swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted, a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her work. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled and handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy, squiggled, and then she said, Please sign it. There you go. Isn't that clever? Even if you feel like you can't draw or paint, you know what? You probably can. So you're all going to start with a dot. Just start with a dot. And let's see what happens. I'm not even going to tell you what to do. I'm just going to let you be creative. You can paint lots of dots. You can paint big dots, little dots, all colors. Show me how creative you can be if you start with one dot. Oh, and don't forget, sign it. Here are my dots. So I made all kinds of different shapes. The bigger ones are in the front and the little ones are in the back to make it look like they're floating away. All right, have fun making your dots.